Northwest, I'm Ashley, your student body president, and today we'll be giving you a tour of our school. Hey y'all, I'm Ali Sova, I am your student body vice president, and I can't wait to show you around today. So first, we're going to start off here at the Colorado <laughs> But first, remember, when you get on campus, you have to wear your mask. So, put that on real quick. Okay, so if you're a car rider, your parents will drop you off in this line right here. And due to COVID precautions, we're going to make sure that everybody gets their temperatures taken so that nobody comes to school sick. So you'll walk up here and you're going to go into, you're going to turn left by the social studies trailer. So for all your social studies courses, all of the lower numbers are going to be this way to your left and then all of the upper numbers will be to the right. And then once you get up here, all of the even classrooms will be to the left side and all the odd classrooms will be to the right side. Okay, so for civics, you more than likely have Mr. Bennett, who is over here, or Loveday, Martin, or Hilliard, who are, all three of them are over here. Miss Martin's trailer is the first trailer, right here. Miss Hilliard is a little further down. And then if you walk me, we'll come see Miss Loveday's trailer. Her trailer has two easy accessible entrances. You can either go up these steps and go on this side, or walk a little further through the grass and go in that way. Both doors are usually unlocked. So now, after you get your temperature check, Allie and I will be showing you our English hall. So this is this hall, and right down here to your right will be your English classes. These are the 100s. Mr. Allred and Ms. Trabert are right down there. And then the remainder of your English teachers will be down this hall. All right, and then up here you'll have the media center. If you ever need to check out a book or use a computer, it will be in here. And then you'll just go up to the desk for anything or any help you need while you're in here. Okay, so this is the attendance office where traditionally you would go to check in once you're late. But currently we're not 100% sure how that is going to work out with COVID procedures. So we will update you with further information. And then so this is where you'll go to check in potentially. Um, you just type in your name, you fill out the information, you tear down the slip, and you take it to your teacher. And now we'll be headed to the front office, and up through here, this is just our front commons. We've got a boys and a girls bathroom over here. Some of our lovely music trophies over here. We've got bands and orchestra. And then to the left is the office. From here, we're going to head to the cafeteria. So, if you're coming from Front Commons, you'll just keep walking straight. And you'll go around here. And then to my left is the cafeteria. Currently, it's full of desks and um, other things, so we're not going to go in there. But that's where you would typically eat your meals pick up your meals, go through the lunch line. There are four lunch lines that you can go through. There's microwaves in there so that you can heat up your food. Um, and then up here on our right, we have our old gym. 
this is where some of you will come to your gym classes and talk science. Okay, so past the old gym, you walk down here towards the new gym. There are two bathrooms, first the women's, then the men's. To the right is our new trophy case. And then just past the trophy case is the main entry doors to the Roger Elna Nelson Gymnasium. Um, here is a tension check station that you will more than likely visit if you are a bus rider because right through these doors is the front parking lot. If you ride the bus, you'll get let off right here, and then you'll come in through these main doors where Ali showed you, and then you'll get your temperature check before going to your classes. So from here, we're going to take you down to the CTE building. Okay, so if you love computer sciences, this is where some of your favorite classes will be. Follow me. All right, are two of the restrooms in here. And if you keep walking down the hall, you run into some of your first classes. There is one classroom here and another classroom here. in here typically with computers and down this corridor. All right, so now we're gonna head up to these trailers which are for your health science classes. So right through these doors, we have our health science classes and this is the nursing classroom to our my right. And then down here, you have the boys' restroom and the girls' restroom. And then to my right is the health science class. So this is where you have health team or health science one or health science two. It'll all be in there. And now we're going to head up to the art and orchestra hall. Okay, so hopefully none of y'all ever have to visit this trailer, but the trailer to my right is the ISS trailer, where we go once you get disciplinary action. Okay, right behind us is the stadium where football, cheerleading, cross country, track, lacrosse, field hockey, all of those lovely activities happen. And we're going to head up these steps to the art hall. Okay, so as we enter this store, we're entering the art hall. Um, just a couple of reminders. No PDA. Anyways. Um, as we walk up here, you run into the first art classroom. This is Miss Herrick's classroom. And then we keep going, and there is a, another art classroom down the hall. And to my right is the band, chorus, and orchestra. All right, so if you have any band, orchestra, or chorus, you'll go in here, and then, so we'll walk this way. You'll typically keep your instruments in this room, and then you just walk through here to the orchestra, which is locked, but you go in there. So this is the chorus room, so you go here for chorus. And then they also have a storage room for a chorus here. Throughout the building, you'll notice multiple murals that are typically gifted by senior classes and the art students here at Northwest. We have everything from famous musicians to historians to just three pieces. Okay, 
Okay, so this is what we call the echo hall. The halls are full of murals, and if you notice, as I walk further down the hall, my voice gets a whole lot louder, so be careful what you're saying here. So now we're going to walk up and head to the science hall, but also we have a computer lab right here, which you'll typically go to if you need to in your science or English class. Lockers are typically available for any students who want them. You request them up in the front office. Um, not every student has to have a locker. I personally don't have a locker, but if you have some bigger bulkier items, like if you play sports and you have practice after school, um, if you're a musician or an art student and you just have some extra things you'd like to keep here, um, you can request a lock up at the front office. So this is what we call the back common. So we have two restrooms down there leading up into the new building. And then to the left, this is like the hallway you would take to turn left where we showed you the English Hall earlier. Welcome to the Old Building Science Hall. This is an apes classroom where they will probably take your sophomore junior year. All right, and then we also have a business class to our right. And then we also have an environmental science class to my right. And then to our left, we have another apes class. Um, also in this hall will be your anatomy, your forensics classes, your physical sciences, um, as well as a couple other computer science classes. And then to our left, we have Mr. Rosillo. If you have an astronomy, or anatomy. anatomy class. So we'll okay, and so from here, we're back into one of our English halls, and we're gonna take you down this way to the new building. New building. So to my left is all of our social studies classes, which we showed you earlier. And now we're gonna head up into the new building to show you all your math and like bio that you would take your freshman year. And your language classes will be in the new building as well. If you're a car rider and one of your first classes of the day is a science, language, or math, you can come directly from the car rider line up into the main entrance of the new building. Okay, so now we're going to head to the new building. There are three sets of stairs. There's one on both ends and one in the center. So up here we're going to show you the science classes. We also have another bathroom as well. But your freshman year, if you had biology, it typically be in one of these classrooms. So up here to my right, we have Miss Orr's office, which is where you go for anything regarding service learning. Or you can also get a locker request here. So down the rest of the hallway, we have various math courses all the way down here. So your freshman year, if you have a math class, it'll probably just be down this hall. But now we're going to go upstairs and show you the rest of the classes. So this is the center staircase. So this is the upstairs of the new building. To my left are a couple science classes, chemistry, physics. There's a bathroom down there. And right here in the center of the upper level is your languages. You've got German, Spanish, Latin. And then at the very end of the hall will be your math classes. And there's also a computer lab down here. So up here to the right for our injured and handicapped students, we have the elevator. So if you're ever on crutches or you can't get up the stairs, you'll use the elevator right here. Okay, so once you exit the new building, you'll probably exit from either this door or that door. You can walk up here, walk up the steps, or this little hill to the back commons of the main building.
So up here to our right, we have the counseling office. So if you have a class change, you go here and speak with your counselor, which are based on last names. And then, or if you need to talk to your counselor about anything going on at school, feel free to come here and talk with them and they'll be happy to help you. So here in the front commons are our main entrances into the auditorium. There are three doors. There's one on the two ends and then there's one in the center in between the trophy cases.